And there's one uh, person I know been very critical of Daniel Andrews, the member for Gippsland in the federal parliament, Darren Chester, who joins me live now. And uh, Darren, well, we know how you feel about Daniel Andrews. How do you reflect today on his contribution to the state and to your area of Gippsland of Victoria? Well, first of all, Kieran, I would respect his service over 20 years and I acknowledge he's been a formidable Labor leader, but I could say to you quite honestly, uh, the cheering across Gippsland today was quite loud. I did a post on my social media acknowledging the Premier was leaving and I hardly found a single person with a positive word to say because he has been a very divisive leader in terms of dividing regional Victorians from the city. While he's been a successful Premier in terms of getting re-elected based on city support, out here in Gippsland, where he's been you know, single-handedly responsible for demolishing the timber industry, for example, he's not a person who's that well regarded. So while I acknowledge his service and uh, respect the fact that he's leaving on his own terms, uh, there's not many people in Gippsland who'd be sorry to see him go. What do you put his success down to? As, a, as someone who's watched politics and been around it for a long time, what do you make of his the political phenomenon, which saw him re-elected in a big win just last November? Well, he was an incredibly ruthless politician in the sense that he knew very quickly where the numbers were and he knew he could win re-election in Victoria by uh, you know, supporting the cities but also pouring money into places like Ballarat, Bendigo and Geelong and, quite frankly, starving other parts of regional Victoria. He has been a very divisive Premier. If you uh, walk down the streets of Melbourne, you'll get very diverse views, obviously. There are people who, who love him and think he's done a great job. And then people in my community would take the view that uh, he was appalling to us during the COVID lockdowns. We were locked down, we believe, unfairly, and many times having city rules applied to us. We think his spending and the enormous debt that Victoria's got to pay off now has been very focused on the city and the big build has blown out. Every project's blown out. His, his botched handling of the Commonwealth Games is another reason why Victorians, uh, regional Victorians are very disappointed in this Premier. And his performance when it comes to the native hardwood timber industry is something that will never be forgiven